bring in our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, for more on that as well. And, John, the president out there selling it yesterday, even though our new poll shows that a majority of Americans don't like the plan so far. And there's some skittishness on Capitol Hill about how the president is going to lead this fight, given what happened during the health care fight. Uh, there is constant fear that the president's going to change his mind, change policy in response to criticism or cut some kind of a side deal and that the Republicans will learn about it on Twitter. Uh, but I have to say, overall, I sense confidence on the part of Republicans. I spoke to Speaker of the House Paul Ryan here yesterday after his meeting with the president, and he says he really does believe they can get it done by Christmas. Okay, meantime, John, the Democratic Party has been rocked by this revelation from former chair Donna Brazile that the Clinton campaign had effectively, had effectively taken control over the DNC before she got the nomination. President Trump now weighing in on that this morning. He's got a double-barreled attack on this, George. He's going after the DNC, of course, but he's also in an odd twist going after his own Justice Department. Overnight, the president jumped on revelations that Hillary Clinton had control over the DNC even before she won her party's nomination. Tweeting, Donna Brazile just stated the DNC rigged the system to illegally steal the primary from Bernie Sanders, bought and paid for by Crooked H. This is real collusion and dishonesty, major violation of campaign finance laws and money laundering. Where is our Justice Department? He's referring to revelations in a new book by former DNC chair Donna Brazile, who reveals that the DNC entered into an agreement back in 2015 that gave the Clinton team a degree of control over the party long before the first votes were cast in the Democratic primary. Trump continued the attack last night in an interview on Fox News. But I want to tell you, that is a big story, what she's saying. It's illegal, number one, and it's really very unfair to Bernie Sanders. I'm not a Bernie Sanders fan, although I must say I got a lot of his votes when he was thrown out. In another interview, the president expressed frustration that he doesn't have more control over his own Justice Department. I'm very frustrated by it. I look at what's happening with the Justice Department. Why aren't they going after Hillary Clinton with her emails and with her... Uh, the dossier and the kind of money. I don't know, is it possible that they paid $12.4 million for the dossier? And how is it, which is total phony, it's fake fraud? And how is it used? And the president just minutes ago went after his own Justice Department yet again on Twitter, tweeting, everybody is asking why the Justice Department and the FBI isn't looking into all of the dishonesty going on with crooked Hillary and the Dems. By the way, George, uh, Democrats are raising questions about this as well. Elizabeth Warren was asked point blank if she believes that the primary was rigged, and she said yes. Yeah, a lot of Democrats are angry about this. They don't like what Hillary Clinton did uh, during the campaign. The more they've learned about it from Donna Brazile, but just clarify a couple of points here. Uh, there's no indication that there was any illegal activity going on in the DNC, despite the president's claims. And I guess if he really wanted the Justice Department to investigate this, he could ask them. Uh, absolutely, yeah. No, no allegation of illegal activity coming really from anybody except for uh, the president. Uh, but it is quite something to see him effectively go after his own attorney general instead of simply maybe asking him to look into it. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.